All right, so you're probably wondering what this device is that I use while I'm working during the day. It's called a Nano V, N-A-N-O-V-I. Now, for me to explain this to you, allow me to, to give you an illustration. You've probably scrambled an egg before. Now, when you have a whole egg and you crack it in the pan and you start to cook the egg, that scrambling process involves the unfolding of all those fragile proteins within the egg. Now, a lot of biological mechanisms, including what goes on in your own body, relies upon proper protein folding mechanisms, meaning that the configuration, the shape of a protein can be changed in the same way that an egg can be scrambled. You're altering the proteins in that egg. Well, ideally for your body to function properly, proteins have to fold properly. Now what the Nano V does, and I'll show you how it works here in a moment, is it actually influences the water that surrounds all the proteins within the cells in your body. When you alter the structure of that water, it allows for the proteins to fold properly. When you allow for the proteins to fold properly, that's when you start to see things like increased performance, better recovery, an ability to fight inflammation, a little bit better focus during the day, better energy levels while you're at your computer or wherever else you might happen to have a device like this that you can literally breathe a water vapor that this thing produces that allows for the proteins to fold properly. So what I do when I'm working during the day is I set up my Nano V and I press play. Now at that point, I have the option to use either a nasal cannula that I can put over my nose and breathe this water vapor through my nostrils, or, and this is the way I prefer to do it because I really don't like to wear the nasal cannula that much, is I'll simply have this positioned in a place kind of right underneath my mouth so that as I'm working on my computer, whether I bring this thing up to my table or whether I have it down on my standing workstation in my office, because it is pretty portable, I can actually be breathing water vapors that allow for proper protein folding mechanisms to occur. Now I've interviewed the folks uh, from NanoV on my podcast. You can go listen to an interview with them, but they've actually got some really good placebo controlled research that you can find published in PubMed about how this thing actually allows for proper protein folding mechanisms to occur. Now what I like about it is it is actually extremely well defined. This is the Nano V Exo model and the way that they build this thing, I mean, I won't lie, I've dropped it on the floor in my office accidentally before, I've dropped it off tables before and it still just gets put together and functions absolutely fabulously. So very, very well built and it assists a full range of protein activities within your body. So what I do is I'll flip it on when I start work at the beginning of the day. I run it for about 20 minutes. I'll take a break, come back. When I get back to my computer, I'll run it again. And typically I'm doing three to four different sessions throughout the day. It's fabulous pre-workout. So if I'm gonna work out later on in the morning, it's perfect for me to run it in the morning pre-workout. It's also great for recovery. So I can also go into my office or I can have this in an area where I'm gonna recover, such as with my recovery boots or on a PMF mat or any other biohacking modality that I wanna combine it with. And it also works fabulously for that as well. So again, it's called a Nano V, N-A-N-O-V-I. They have a variety of models and choices that you can choose from and a really great educational resource library on their website if you wanna be able to wrap your head a little bit better around how this thing actually works. So if you go to bengreenfieldlife.com slash Nano V, that's bengreenfieldlife.com slash N-A-N-O-V-I, and I'll also include a link for you along with this video, you can go check out their page, you can grab one for yourself, you can look at the different models, and you can look at some of their resources library. You can also, like I mentioned, go listen to a podcast that I did with the folks from NanoV if you wanna learn more. It's one of the kind of cool fringe biohacking modalities you can add to your protocol. But if you're looking for better recovery and performance and something you can stack while you're working anyways or while you're sitting around anyways because you don't have to do anything except simply breathe the water vapor, then this is something that's gonna be right up your alley. So check it out and I hope that helps you out.